Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers Prime figure review. This time I want to take a look at Bulkhead, Voyager class Bulkhead. And I picked him up because he's, well, the only Voyager figure I don't have. I've got Starscream and Megatron and Optimus. Um, I do not have him, so I, and I got him really cheap. I got him for $3 and I think 96 cents. And the reason I got him so cheap, I had a stack of uh, Visa gift cards and Walmart gift cards. I had like a dollar something here, a few bucks there. I think one of them had like five or six bucks. So I brought in a stack of these uh, uh, gift cards and I just kept piling them like, I wonder how, mu how much I actually have on these things. And I'm like, well, I'm going to buy this figure. And I just kept using those, using those, and it came out. I only owed just under $4 for this thing. So you can't go wrong, right? Uh, Voyager class figure, $4. Gotta love it. So yeah, here he is. Looking all big and bulky. Um, artwork of his off-road Jeep mode, Hummer mode, whatever that's supposed to be. He's got a glowing wrecking ball. There he is in package. We can see him from the top there. Transformers Prime. And then his little weapon thing spins. Woo. And I got to admit, that looks fun. I'm not big on these mech tech weapon things, but that one does look kind of fun. Um, let's see, on the side, we have his bio, bulkhead, and then we have his stats, which I'll go over here in a second. Um, on the bottom, you can also get Starscream, woo! And then on the back of the package, we have a figure and robot and a vehicle with all that crap on top of him. Watch the hub, kids. More Transformers Prime characters. And then this is what this does, this is what this does. And I find it interesting, if you look at the, the robot on the back, okay, uh, first of all, the weapon is on a different arm, and he's got this big, gigantic-ass Autobot symbol on the shoulder there. And uh, he doesn't, on the artwork from the show, nor does the actual figure on the back interesting and I don't remember there being a big old Autobot logo on his shoulder on the show either in fact when I first seen this figure I don't remember there being a giant red Autobot logo but I might be wrong if I am tell me let me know so yeah there he is bulkhead in package let's get this guy out of the package and see what he looks like okay so here we have bulkhead in robot mode out of the package in first impression he doesn't look bad. He's, he's not bad at all. He's big. He is bulky. Um, this is definitely not the first edition figure, though. Uh, you can tell. And a lot of people were really pissed off about this figure because it looks very, very different from the first edition, especially up in the arms. The first edition has kind of... Bul Actually, I'll tell you what. The first edition arms look a lot like this piece right here uh, being the shoulders. Um Whereas these kind of have these black plates and the, the sides of the truck are there and you can visibly see the wheels. The other big thing is the doors on the first edition were out farther and he had um, two big green pieces here um, and then a black piece in the middle. Well, in this one, it's got more truck part here and then the doors and the windows on these doors are painted where the first edition one isn't. Um, other than that, the rest of the figure looks fine to me in comparison. Um, yeah, I don't really mind it uh, so much. I, this is actually the first bulkhead figure I've ever purchased. I did not get him in the animated, and I kind of kicked myself for, for not getting him because uh, I do like the character. Um, I think he's, he's pretty cool. Um, paint job is pretty decent on this guy. He's got some decent detail. Um, he's definitely a figure that looks better from the front than he does the side because we get a lot of side I can see his insides kind of thing going on there um, I think the coolest thing about the guy his arms I really like his arms I like the smoky clear plastic they're using uh, here I think that that's a nice little accent and his legs look really good his legs are really really solid um, the only thing that's kind of a disappointment the side there where that tire is they painted it green, or it's just green plastic instead of painting it black. I think that's that's kind of lazy. They should have at least done that. Uh, the back side of him looks okay. Hey, I'm dancing. 
Um, his backside looks pretty decent. I mean, he's got a truck back there, but, you know, that's fine. It doesn't look too bad as far as robot kill or anything goes because, you know, he turns into a big truck. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, he doesn't have much movement in his hands. I mean, he's got some up and down and the movements there, and his legs um, move a little, but his feet don't really move either, it doesn't look like. And his head's on a ball joint, and he can look around. Now, what's really cool is his little mouthpiece is on a hinge, so when you lower him, he does get some different expressions, uh, which is kind of cool. But here's another kind of a fail. This is really goofy. He has got, if you look on the back, he has got light piping, but his eyes are painted blue. So when you look, and it's going to be kind of hard to show up here, the, it does come through, but it comes around the edges, and because of the blue dots, it makes him look cross-eyed. looks like he's like, Ugh which is very, very strange. Um, yeah, I, I mean, he literally looks like he's got pupils when you do that, and it looks very, very funny. I don't know why they did that. And then we've got light piping through the middle, which is kind of interesting looking. Um, so that's kind of odd, a little different. But yeah, overall, it, it's not too terribly bad. He comes with this attachment to go on his arm, and you could switch either arm its uh, appearance. And this is a, supposed to be a battering ram, but it looks like a meat tenderizer to me, which is kind of interesting. And I'm just going to plop this guy. It just, just plops into a peg hole on, on his arm, either one, so he can beat the crap out of uh, an Autobot or something, or a Decepticon, I guess. And then the other one, uh, again, this thing, it just... It, this thing is kind of fun, though. It looks like it's made to be part of him. Um, I'll look in when we get in the transformation, I'll see. But yeah, I, I it just, it spins. Woo, little light goes through it. I, I like playing with that. I think that's really fun. And it actually has some pretty decent detail on it. There's uh, a tail light of some sort on there. It's got a bunch of gears. Um, and even on the side, uh, when you look at it, there's some uh, piping there and some hydraulic uh, joints. Uh, so, I mean, they, this is actually probably the best built of these little mech tech things that they've done. Um, I love how it spins. That's just too awesome. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. So, I'm just going to put that on there. So, when... Ah, that thing is huge. So, he will spin. Now, this is kind of cool. This is probably the most successful use of the piping in the arms. You can see... The, see the little laser in there? That's kind of cool. Um, that is the most successful one I've seen to date. So at least they've succeeded there with his uh, weapon piece. And I guess you could, if you wanted to, make a monstrous weapon here. You could put it all on one, and oh lord, that makes him top heavy. And then, you know, it kind of cuts in with that thing, but yeah, it's better just to put it on its arm by itself. So yeah, there it is. Uh, bulkhead, not looking too terribly bad. I, and I like the red Autobot logo, but I don't know if I like it there. I would rather them have put it right there in the middle. I think that would have looked a lot better than just kind of haphazardly up in the corner there. So, yep, let's take a look at this guy in vehicle mode and see what we got. Okay, so here we have Bulkhead in his vehicle mode. And I do like this vehicle mode. Uh, it was a pain in the ass to transform the first time, that's for sure. Uh, especially these bits up here on the top where these windows are. The directions especially for the legs and the feet underneath, are not very accurate, so that was kind of annoying. Once you get through it and work through it, you kind of figure out what's going on, and, and it, it, it does get a lot better. Now, the detail on this figure is actually pretty decent. Um, if we look at it, it's got some nice detail in the windows. The windows are all painted. We've got uh, clear glass up front. We've got this nice chrome uh, luggage rack going on. The front of the vehicle looks really nice with the painted headlights and yellow and silver and gray and we got the nice dark gray bumper with the silver piece up here. It looks very nice, very cool. Even the little grill there. Um, just really nice. I like how it's got the hooks for the um, 
hood of the vehicle to uh, pop open. Very cool. Uh, we got, uh, you know, little door handles or mirrors. We got our step up rigging, the nice uh, darker green undertone. Um, the wheels are really nice. It'd be, it'd be a little bit cooler if they, they put some silver or gray in here for the wheel itself instead of just making it all black. Um, and I would have liked for the fog lamps up front to have been painted. That would have been pretty cool. But yeah, it is what it is. Now the back side looks really nice as well. Um, we have two gas caps, which I'm really digging. I think that's very cool. I love the, the trunk of the vehicle. looks nice. Uh, we have painted headlights, or I'm sorry, taillights. We don't get that very often in Hasbro uh, paint jobs, so that's very, very cool. Uh, got a nice little bumper there. Now, we do see a little bit of robot kibble there, but that's forgivable considering the rest of the detail in this figure. I mean, we see a little up here as well, but that, I guess, could be mud flaps. Uh, we also have some nice uh, suspension system detail underneath the... Uh, the hubs here, which are very, very cool. Now, the one thing I do like, and he's even got a little sunroof type deal going on up there. The, the one thing that's nice, I mean, they're going to have their little gimmicks with the Mechtech ports, um, or Arms Micron ports, whatever you want to call them. But this one's not too bad, as it's kind of up there, and it almost kind of looks like maybe an antenna or something. Um, not too terribly bad. And I love how we got a handle on the trunk. Very cool. Um, so, with this guy's weapons, we've got his meat tenderizer that he can use. You can obviously put that on there. And then it that kind of reminds me of maybe some type of uh, broadcast antenna, kind of like you'd seen uh, the Vietnam War, Korean War, uh, where they're broadcasting to tell people to get out of the way, get out of here, that kind of thing. Uh, and then you've got this, which, I, I, like I said, I think this is probably one of the funnest little mech tep weapon things, but here's the problem. They paint this piece up and they put a tail light on it like it's going to be incorporated into the transformation and they've even got like little hydraulics and all this cool looking stuff but it has nothing to do with the vehicle which was kind of disappointing. Um, I'd rather have seen this incorporate somehow into uh, the vehicle, maybe turn this into a gas tank or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean this is pretty worthless though, I mean it, it doesn't even go over the windshield. Maybe maybe it's to keep bugs away. Get off my windshield. I don't know. You can also double mount these pieces and you can double mount the piece this way. Problem is it connects up to the front part of the little what I call meat tenderizer. But there's another port that you can connect up to right there. And then when you do connect that on this way, it does extend it out a little bit further and makes it a little more, but not by much, useful as a weapon. So yeah, there it is. All in all, I do like this vehicle. I think it's a good vehicle mode. Um, it's nice and heavy, very bulkhead-like. Um, I can see them repainting this and maybe redoing the mold for brawn. That would be very cool. Um, all you'd have to do is repaint this vehicle mode and maybe give them a different head sculpt and you got a brawn figure out of this. So that would be very cool, very nice. Um, yeah, so there he is. He's not as bad as I thought he was going to be. He's one of my more favorite of the Transformers Prime figures that have been released. And is he worth buying? Um, if you find him for $19.99, absolutely yes. I would buy this figure for $19.99. If it's $26, because it depends on what store you're going to. Sometimes they're $25.99. If it's 26 bucks, I'd look for it for the $19.99. The extra 5 bucks isn't worth it, unless you're a completist and you're trying to get everything. You're a bulkhead completist or you're a prime completist. Uh, then if you got to have the figure, then pay the 26 bucks. But I would recommend shop around and look for him for 20 Definitely worth the 20 I think. So, yep, there he is, bulkhead. Thanks for watching, guys.